Okay, <clears throat> so last part 23 was the I'm GUI renderer. Now I need to figure out the state, because right now the only state I'm actually presenting is just, uh, what is it, up down here? It's just the test UI, which is just presenting the frame time and the frame count to the screen. Not exactly the most useful kind of thing. So, rather, uh, I need to kind of come up with something that's a little more flexible. I don't want to actually have to have everything pasted in here, basically. Um, and to do that, so I I've, I've, I've was thinking of doing a class that was going to be encompassing the state of I am GUI that would you'd be able to like add stuff on to either permanently or temporarily. Not that I'm sure this doesn't really make sense by me just talking about it. It probably makes more sense if I actually do it as usual. Um, maybe also put this on a sub thing. Not sure. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. I'm just take a moment to figure out what I actually want to in my mind. Okay. Okay, yes. I'm going to actually want a subfolder for this. Rename that, get rid of this. Renderer, bam, magic. Uh, I don't even need to say that. I just say render. Renderer. Angry uh, export. We are this just a little bit. Um, no, oh, yeah, that. He then takes in that way. So does this. There. Make sure that builds. Oh, okay. GUI state. Okay, we're going to have a state. We're going to have a base. Let's see what we've got here. Base HPP, state HPP.
What else are we gonna need? We're gonna need uh, include a mutex and a vector. So the idea is you're gonna be able to add UI elements on a permanent basis. Um, that'll be like an element. Gotta be able to remove them as well. And then we uh, we can add, remove them, and we also have to be able to run them. Mm -hmm. Privately, uh, hold on. Okay, that was a sneeze. Good thing you caught that. Look at that. Uh, UI elements. Ah, mix. Mm. Mm. Damn it. I don't know. Okay, okay, yeah. Um, just UI. Since there's only two things, it's easy enough to figure out what's what exactly. Yeah? Yeah, that's, that, that, that's fine. Whatever. It's a pointer, it doesn't need to know. Yeah, okay, and then the, the base. <sighs> it's what, basically virtual, isn't it? Yeah, pre-render element, we need virtual. Uh, okay, so they'll be like, hmm. these items, this is a base, which means it can be able to be derived from, and it may put elements in, we're gonna have a main bar at the top, like the file menu, the view menu, you know, the, the, the custom, you know, this stuff up at the top. So we'll have things for file, edit, view, Uh, just yeah, those three for the moment. Protected. Mm. 
privately. It'll be a friend of the class. Oh, I'm gonna be state. So we need to export these items. So do 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 export that 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 that. That's fine. Um, state will be the same thing. This and this and this. down got these three functions that's it here same thing here and same thing here while we're uh, doing the running the UI this will be a very lockdown class but that each these two will happen very extremely rarely and this will just be running once a frame anyways so it should be the contention for the lock should be low really really low <clears throat> Actually, um, hold on. if, first of all, if UI is empty, just leave. Super rare operations. Otherwise, it's in there, so MUI dot and place back PUI true, true. simple. Um, can't do that. We have to just do it this way instead. Need the iterator so I can erase, use the iterator to remove the element from the vector from the list. Shortcut, we're out. Uh, 
running GUI. Mm -hmm. Okay, perhaps we should get the base. Actually, no, this will, these will just be empty at this point. By default, a base of this does nothing. You're supposed to inherit it and fill these optionally. So, base, render, state. Okay. All right. Begin main menu bar. Yeah, that's the one I'm looking for. I need to include. Okay. So we do the main menu items, and then afterwards we do um, go iterator do, 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 do custom UI. Yeah. Begin menu, uh, the file menu. Then we have to go through for auto star. Iterate through the end UI. For each iterator do, um, what was it? Pre oh, I need to do pre-render first, actually, wouldn't I? Hmm. You know what? I'm not sure if I pre-render yet. Leave that out for the moment until I actually need it. Follow me menu. And we do the same thing for the others. We got the file menu. View. And we kind of have a similar deal for custom. Then I'll actually probably be able to add some test hmm. onto this thing. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> okay. Hmm. 
add some UI or you know rather not rather than just UI, just say like I am GUI specifically. Um hmm. One that terminates the application. Really? You okay? Yeah. Make lists. Uh. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah, this is actually an interesting one. Yeah, keep, yeah, yeah. Rather than have it go into this, it'd be like public. It would be attached to that. Hmm. Yeah, there we go. And it carries on with him down the line. We also have in here. Ooh, rather than that, actually, it'd be like if. Mm -hmm, there we go. White. Really? Goes into I'm GUI, which would then have this, which would then target link lot, uh, target sources. There we go. That's better. Now we want to do termination, so of course have private. <clears throat> mm 
Yeah. File menu, we're going to have like what a single um, main menu item. Should we just exit or quit? Exit. very light but I know oh yes chewy all right let's see if we can um this we have uh, up here so uh, down here somewhere there's a renderer here's the foe and the state we're gonna have foe yeah uh, which is termination. Then way down here, we have the test UI. Mm -hmm. Here it is. Dot run UI. Make this a static binary as well. Yeah, I'd rather for something like this, it, you compile it in. No, like wishy-washy, you can add it if you want. No, 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 no. So right now it's, hmm, yeah. Okay, uh, nothing. Oh, that's bad. <laughs> Did I forget to turn it on or something? No, editor mode is on. Ah, excellent. I just broke it. Perfect. Remove that. Check the test UI actually works again. Uh, whoa, okay. Stash everything. Did I break it before I even got here somehow?
Okay. Yeah, okay, 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 okay. Um, hmm. So what is different? I have this and this and this. Oh, hold on, what the hell? How did that even work? You're not compiling. Compiling that. Right, are you just not compiling this section? Is that why? You're not even compiling that section, that's why. Okay. Thank God. A moment there, I thought I was actually really screwing something up. Um. Oh, right. Yes, 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 yes. I, uh, hmm. to actually link that in. Here we go. Undefined base. Oh, because it's a virtual. Yeah. Okay, but as long yeah, it doesn't have anything else to really be bothered about. Yeah. We have at least UI element in the corner. That's what I'm looking for right now. Give it to me. Yes. Add the main menu, please. Uh, it's kind of there. Wow, just barely hanging in the cr there. Barely even existing. So not great. Something to do with the state. Probably begin main menu bar. Begin menu. Oh, do I just not even end? I don't think I end them. I, I may. I, I need to end them. And that. Custom UI. Well, hey, at least the X is there, kind of. Just, um, hmm. Okay. That's just. Do this. We'll start add re-adding elements until okay. Uh, that's fine. Let's turn off validation for the moment. Speed it up.
This does nothing yet. Just adding the main menu bar. Just adding the main menu bar screws it up real bad. Okay. Is it like an ordering thing? Because I'm setting some kind of uh, state the test UI. Nope. Just something in the main menu bar. It just does not. Okay. Just from the main menu bar. That looks fine. That looks fine. Okay, there must be something wrong with uh, how I'm putting the data in for the draw lists. In the render. Like, I must be just going over some arbitrary limit, and then it's starting to screw up. And this is where I kept having problems earlier. New frame, run UI. Wait, hold on. If not equal. What is the point of this? Of course. If it is null pointer. Or count is less. Oh, geez that then we need to rebuild it at the new size that makes yeah it makes more sense otherwise I'm still not entirely sure what to do with this one well we'll see how this comes out uh
buffer text information. Buffer data. Then we go to what was it? Skip uh, shutdown program. VK and command. Yeah, just this. Okay, let's see if we can actually grab this from the uh, validation layer somehow. Like, am I overrunning the buffer or something? Nothing. Okay. <gasps> there it is. You bastard. Index buffer. Increasing the index data point by too much or too little, depending on the vertex data. You sneaky little Baga. There we go. Hills, yeah. Uh, okay, yeah, it doesn't actually do anything quite yet, but there's also something I sh can add this back on. Right yeah. Let's do this in 4K. Nope, still that uh, insane frames per second. Okay. Uh, I did the termination thing. Uh, so if... Where's the while? Where's the beginning of the while loop? Where are you? Terry Mation. And not that. Give it a go. Yeah. Okay, um, Uh, FES. Which 
It's basically a test UI right now. Frame time info. There we go. Okay, uh, we don't need that. We don't need that, but we'll need this because we're going to have two items: custom UI, view. It'll be under the view and custom. Let's find all of this. Uh, actually, no, they're not public, they're private. Sorry. And then um, we need to take in frame time info somehow. Uh, how do we ingest it? Right now, it's we got a specific frame time object class hiding somewhere. Frame timer. Oh, we've got it right at the beginning. So we can actually just add it in at construction time constructor time excellent where is it frame timer no oh. Okay, uh, first of all, let's grab this as a thing. Whatever. That, it's not going to be that, it's going to be view info if menu. Hmm. Not entirely sure, actually. Okay, it's just. Grab all three of these.
const star const. I'm not going to be modifying it. I'm just going to be reading it all of the time. And that's it. Uh, you'd also need like a boolean if it's open or not, which by default is. Not am open. Hmm. Is there a submenu? No, I don't really no. If that just return. That's it. Otherwise, I don't think there's anything else I actually require. Nah. Hmm. Scroll bar. Okay, and then we have the two items from engine in the test UI. Test UI, test UI, there you are, there you both are. Actually, it's just this, really, for the moment. Be able to close it. Really, you don't you don't understand what nanoseconds are? No, you do. Um, oh, it's just it's not hooked in. Okay. 
Okay. We'll then add it to Okay. Mm -hmm. mm, not quite. And for the address. So that's the new one or that sealed one? Um, to this one? Yeah, that's that one. I didn't need it to be resizable, I guess. Ridiculous. Frames a second. Let me put it on the 4K screen. Yeah, it's still ridiculous FPS. Okay, but that does mean I can actually extract this back out of the uh, main file. Put it in its own little file instead. Now, new frame, run UI, end frame, update, draw. Hmm. I think I'll just keep it concentrated here at the moment. What else? Yeah, yeah, and yeah, the new state stuff looks pretty okay. We have these two items and the reorg to go with it for the libraries. Okay, just get that in. So, uh, this. All these guys, actually. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Actually, I may want to slightly modify it so that it always builds. even if I don't have editor mode on. It's only if it's editor mode is on that it's linked in. I wanna make sure it's at least built so I can actually confirm I'm not just writing the garbage code. Just me. This as well. Shoes. Building it off. Let's try building it with it. Well, I was building it with it on. Let's see if we turn it off and see what happens. I mean, the UI will be gone, but that's perfect. that turn it back on
Okay. Two separate um, Yeah, I mean, that's what it is. It stood out to the different class. Um, what I really do need, though, is to add some uh, docs, documentation. So. No, not quite. Okay, base class to be inherited for the use by the state class. Functions are called in this order when rendering. So. Okay, don't even, just that. Triple, same thing for view.
Okay, we'll add that. State. Terrible explanation. Dang. Okay. Make sure it runs, of course. Mm -hmm. No more corruption? Nope. Hmm. It's renamed, has been moved. Okay, put that in. We'll call Call it a night there. Cheers.